YouTube. My name is Stacy. I'm known here as Flighty Rambler and I'd like to welcome you to my channel today. Hello again friends. I'm glad to be with you today. I am happy to be filming and sharing another video. First of all, I'm pleased with the retention of these white nails. There's no lifting. Everything is nice and solid. I am pleased with the way I put them on because they are not going anywhere for now. <laughs> but this is not a nail video. Indeed, it is another iCAD and mixed media iCAD video. This is brought to us by Tammy and Nina. It's a 61 day challenge throughout the summer. Tammy has been hosting this for the past 13 years and Nina has been working with this for the past three. Both talented artists have YouTube pages and Instagrams and on Tammy's daisyyellowart.com I'm finding information, inspiration as well as her prompt list. Nina's prompt list I am finding on her Instagram here. Uh, go ahead and check out both ladies. They have a lot to offer and I'll have links to everything in the description box below. For myself today, I am working on day 34. Tammy's prompt is summer and Nina's prompt is coffee. I feel I can work with both of these prompts today. So let's see what I get up to. This will be my substrate for today. It is three index cards that I've glued together. It creates for a rather sturdy base because I find that one card is entirely too flimsy. So this is a nice solid cardstock. For my first layer today, I'm going to put down some scribble journaling with this pencil. For my next layer, I'm going to put down some gesso. To satisfy uh, Tammy's prompt for summer, I'm going to use either turquoise blue or fluorescent blue. I'm leaning towards fluorescent blue. Just blue skies, blue lake water. So pretty. I'll go ahead and spritz some water, some water and then move it around. a bit more blue. So I think I will add a bit of this cyan just to give it different value of blue. to add a bit more gesso here and there just to knock some of the blue back but isn't that a gorgeous color I want to fulfill the other prompt which was coffee so I'm going to get out this ganache ink pad first and I'm going to use that to ink up the edges. 
not black, it's brown. And then I'm going to use a script stamp to add some detail to the background. I took out all of the um, stamps in this Stampers uh, Stamping Up or Stampers Anonymous, whatever, um, folder here. And in here I have all my script stamps, script stamps together. So I'm going to use this one to just add some fun detail to the background. I have my coffee spray here in this bottle. I did add a couple drops of alcohol to make sure it doesn't get scummy. I want to try to concentrate it in the middle. Oh, and it smells like coffee. Yum. As well, I'm going to add some coffee splats, 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 splats. I don't want to contaminate my bottle. So I'll pour some out and then I'll use a small brush to add the spots. And I think I will add some blue splats with the process cyan since that's a very strong opaque color. As well, I think I'll do some white spots, 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 spots. So that was coffee and summer. Also for summer, I have these watercolor flowers and little ephemera bits and bobs that I created during Defemer Emperor a couple of years ago. And I think I would like to add a few of these little bits and bobs here. I think I think the background can handle that. Okay. Oh yes, be careful the coffee will move. Okay. are some watercolor flowers I created um, either last year or the year before. It was a really fun project to create some little flowers for myself for focal points. I was really glad to use some of them up today though. 
looks really cute. And because I wanna bring some pink and yellow into the background, I'm gonna use these gelatos to mark in some colors. So this is a little busy, so I do want to create a sentiment cluster. Let's see what I can pull out here. And for my sentiment, I will use my Dymo. And the word for today is sorrow. It's just, <sighs> yeah. And I feel like I've lost the white, so I'm gonna bring some back with this gesso. Maybe some white splats are not is what it needs. Let's let's try that. It's time for some sketchy lines with this big velocity size 1.6. So this is my card for day 34. The prompts were summer and coffee. And I feel I fulfilled both by using the flowers and the bright blue in the background. It did get a bit muddy because of the coffee reacting with the wet media on top of it. I should be more careful about that or at least try to seal it. But these are watercolor flowers I created a while back. I'll try to link 
the video for it in the top right hand corner. I really like the flowers. I'm glad I was able to pull them out and use them. And yeah, the sentiment is sorrow. It's just... Anyway, I'm glad I was able to art today. It always makes me feel better. I'd like to thank Tammy and Nina for hosting this summertime challenge. I'll have links to their information in the description box below, as well a link to my Etsy shop if you want to go see what I have to offer there. I have a lot of napkins, some player piano paper, and some ephemera. And I'd also like to thank you today for your time and your attention. I would really like it if you'd give me a comment of what you would do differently, what you would keep the same. And yeah, I would love that thumbs up as well. Subscribe to my channel. And until my next video, bye bye.